Hello there everyone, my name is Hunter Hauk, and in today's video, I am going to be answering all of your questions and drinking coffee because it's basically fall, right? Alright, so yesterday I asked on Instagram, Patreon, and the YouTube community tab for you all to ask me questions for me to answer in this video, and so I am going to be covering a lot of topics today, and it's going to be a fun video, so I am very, very excited. Let's check out what questions we have here. Alright, first off, Michael asks, would you ever get a tortoise? And now this is a good question because as of right now, I don't have any plans to get a tortoise, but I think that they are super awesome. I would love to have a tortoise potentially sometime in the future, but not anytime soon. If I were to get a tortoise, I would want to get a smaller one, obviously not like a sulcata or anything, but maybe a Russian tortoise. But yeah, probably a smaller tortoise someday in the future, but not anytime soon. Martin asks, dream place to travel, and I better screenshot it so I can find it later. Um, that is also a very, very good question. So I would love to travel to the natural habitat of some of the species I keep. Now I live in the natural habitat of the plains hognose, so I can check that one off the list. I almost dropped my phone. Um, <laughs> so maybe to Australia to see bearded dragons in their natural habitat, or to see white tree frogs in their natural habitat. Hmm. But I would also love to travel to Europe, even though I don't think I have any European species. So that's a good question, and I guess I can't give you uh, a complete answer. S underscore Van Blurk asks, snake or gecko as a first reptile? Now that's a good question. I got a leopard gecko as my first reptile, and I have never regretted that. I absolutely love having a leopard gecko but it also depends on whether you would prefer to have a snake or a gecko. Your first reptile should be a species that you want to have for a long time, so it really just depends on which is your favorite. Now, geckos, of course, don't need to be fed. Rodents, like most species of mice, of snakes, do, so that is something to consider, but I think that there are pros and cons to both, so you really just have to decide what is right for you, but I am glad I got a gecko instead of a snake is my first reptile. The next question is, what is your favorite reptile? And this person said that I'm not allowed to mention extinct ones, which is good because I wasn't going to anyway. This is a very good question, and I have to say leopard geckos are just my absolute favorite reptile species. Okay, now we're gonna move over to the YouTube community tab, and then we'll come back here later. Melissa asks, what are your long-term goals for the channel? How would you like to see it grow, and what do you want to do next? Hey, this is a good question. So my long-term goals for the channel are to keep creating just a variety of educational reptile and amphibian videos so that you can all learn about reptiles and amphibians, and so that I can learn. Because anytime I make a video, I learn a little something, no matter what it is. But also, I would love to expand into breeding reptiles eventually. So there are a few projects that I definitely have plans for, um, kind of behind the scenes. None that I've like gotten animals for yet, except for Pippin, my leopard gecko. I'm planning on eventually breeding her because she has wonderful genetics. But I would also like to breed crested geckos as well in the future, because I just love crested geckos. They're one of my favorite reptiles. Hmm. <laughs> but there, yeah, there are a variety of ways that I would like to grow. Um, I would love to be able to meet more of you in the future. So maybe at an event like Pet Fest, I have no idea. I'm not involved with that in any way, but I have a number of friends who are, and so I would love to go to that in the future. But yeah, there are just a ton of things that I want to go. My notes app is filled with a ton of ideas. I also have... Uh, those of you who were here last year around the holidays know that every year I have started doing a calendar 
which is just photos of my reptiles and amphibians called Reptiles Unfiltered, and it got sent to the publisher for the 2022 edition, so it's getting printed. There's going to be plenty for all of you, but yeah, that's going to be exciting. And I have a merch, other than the calendar, I have another merch design coming up soon-ish, probably towards the end of September or maybe early November. But yeah, lots of exciting projects going on for sure. So No Dome asks, if I were to breed reptiles, which species would I want to have in my projects, it looks like, and what sort of setups would I have for those species? This is a wonderful question, and I'm very excited to answer it, even though I kind of already did, but I knew that this question was coming up, so I saved most of the answers for this. So I would love to have a blizzard leopard gecko breeding project. That's something that should be coming up in a couple of years, probably, and I would also love to breed um, some crested geckos. I love harlequins and lily whites, so in the future I would love to work with those. I am also considering doing something with some snakes. I just haven't decided on what species, so I really love Brooks king snakes. But yeah, mainly in the future leopard geckos and crested geckos are ones that I will for, for sure breed at some point in time. But also amphibians really interest me, so yeah, that's another one that I'm thinking about. So there are a lot of ideas up here. Now I just need to figure out how to actually make them happen. Thanks for the question. Courtney's Mini Zoo asks, would I ever be interested in owning farm type animals or livestock? And so that's a great question. If you consider chickens to be farm animals, then yes, I love chickens. I've had chickens. I had them until we moved. I used to show chickens. I love chickens. But other than that, there aren't a ton of farm animals that I want to work with. Um, I grew up with kind of like a farm background when we lived in Kansas, so I have a lot of experience with several species of livestock type animals. But in the future, I definitely want to stick with reptiles and amphibians and chickens. <laughs> Cinder Blocks, I think that's how that name is pronounced, asked, would you ever consider getting a green anole? Let's just say not on purpose, but <laughs> I'm laughing because I have a green anole right now that I didn't get on purpose. It was just sent to me, and that's actually what my next video is about. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to give a little sneak peek to my next video and include it. So yes, watch my next video, and you will see my little green anole that was sent to me on accident. That's all we're gonna say. Ali Binner kind of asked two questions, but they tie together very well. So the first one is, do you breed doobie roaches? And the answer to that is no, but I'm working on, see, I have a lot of projects going on. Um, I'm working on making that happen in the future because that would save me a lot of money and I would just prefer to be producing the food for my reptiles myself instead of just ordering them. But yeah, it would save me a lot of money, so I would love to work on that in the future. If anyone has any tips, comment them down below, please. But next, how many reptiles do you have? I'm going to count reptiles and amphibians. So I have a plains hognose, two leopard geckos, a woodhouse's toad, a bearded dragon, one white tree frog, because as you all know, unfortunately, Parker did pass away. I made a whole video about it, so check out my community tab if you want to see that. And, jeez. I have the green anole. Now that's not a secret. Um, and then I have one other one that you guys have not met yet. And then I have a foster leopard gecko. So right now, in my care, there are nine reptiles and amphibians. But one of those is a foster and two of those you haven't exactly met yet, so <laughs> fun videos coming up, I guess. Grant asks, what is your favorite monitor? I absolutely love Emerald Tree Monitors or Varanus Prisinus. What's one reptile you really want but is really hard to get? I would love to have a Vietnamese Blue Beauty rat snake, or just Blue Beauty snake, you'll hear them called. They have a lot of names, but those are probably my dream snake. I also would love a lavender plains hognose, but both of them aren't exactly the easiest snakes to find, and when you do, they are pretty expensive, so 
those I will I have to have one of those or both of those at some point in my life but I have a lot of time so those are both some of my dream snakes. Reptile Zone asks if you could only own snakes or lizards which one would you choose? I would choose lizards. Jin15R asks what was the best piece of advice or new technique that you learned at the Snake Discovery Enclosure build-off? Everything. <laughs> there was just so much that I learned, and so it would be really, really hard to narrow it down, but one thing that really stuck out to me was Clint from Clint's Reptiles, and I had seen him in a previous video do this method before, but he makes his backgrounds, instead of out of spray foam, Gorilla Glue, and then you spray it with some water, and then you put substrate on it, and you just really pack it down, and it expands, and you don't have to waste like an aerosol can. So that's a method and technique that I would absolutely love to use in the future. But everyone there taught me something, whether it was a competitor, someone's plus one, or Emily and Ed, of course, taught me a ton of new things. So I learned a lot, but yeah, that would be my biggest thing, a new technique that I would like to bring into some of my own enclosures for sure. And Zeta Tara asks, what are your future goals with reptile keeping? That is a good question. So, like I said, I would love to expand into breeding some more species. Oh, I forgot to mention the Europlatus genus or leaf tail geckos, specifically Europlatus sicorae or mossy leaf tail geckos. I absolutely love those, so I would love to breed those too. I'm not sure why I forgot to mention them, but yeah, I would love to breed some more, I hate to say the word rare reptiles, but reptiles that aren't exactly the easiest to find, plus crested geckos and leopard geckos, because they're just absolutely adorable. But I would also love to expand just the reptile species that I have. I would love to broaden that, but also I just want to continue working on providing the best quality of life for every animal that's already in my care, because I think that's the most important thing. So everyone is going to have big enclosures, the best possible care, and I'd say that right now everyone has the best possible care, but I'm always constantly upgrading. I'm working on an upgrade for Persephone, my woodhouse's toad, right now, and that video is coming soon. But yeah, I just have lots of exciting projects to make life better for my reptiles, and some projects that are in the more distant future to make life better for your reptiles too, if you're interested. So definitely hit the subscribe button and follow along, because that was also the last question and I thought it was a good place for us to wrap up today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to support the channel, you can head to shop.hunterhawk.com to get my merch. I have lots of cool designs and not just clothing. So there's lots of cool stuff for you. I wanna say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping make all of these videos possible. I'm really grateful for all of your support, so thank you all so much. Once again, my name is Hunter Hauk. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.